November 2023, paper one. Higher tier. Question number one, work out 6.3 times 2.4. So it's easier to multiply 63 times 24. And then you will get 1512. And then you put the decimal place. So you go 15.12. So you do three times four, it's 12. You write two and carry one. Four times six, 24 plus 125. And two times three is six. And two times six is 12. You add them. Two plus zero is two. Five plus six, 11. One and carry one. Two plus two is four. Plus one, you carry five. And then one plus zero is one. So it's 15.12. Question number two. Write down the value of five to the power zero. Any number raised to the power zero is equals to one. So the answer is one. Write down the value of five to the minus two is one over five squared. Five squared is the same as five times five, which gives you 25. One over 25 is the answer. Part B, two to the five times two to the power four. You add the five plus four, it gives you nine. Nine take away three, it gives you six. So it's two to the power six. Number three, write one five six as the product of its prime factors. You can use six times twenty six, but most students will use this one. So one five six is an even number, so you divide by two, you get seventy eight. You divide by two, and then now you get thirty nine. You divide by three, so it'll be two times two times three times thirteen. That gives you the two marks. Part B, find the highest common factor of one five six and one thirty. Find the factor tree of 130. 130 is an even number, so it's 2 times 65, and then 5 times 13. So you list the 156 factors, prime factors, and list the 130 prime factors. The one in yellow is the one that is common. 2 is common in both of them. You write that 3, 13 is common. You write that, you multiply 2 times 13, it gives you 26. Question 19, here is a graph of y equals to sine x from minus 180 to 180. Use the graph to estimate, find estimate for the solution. You draw a line at 0 0.3 and you come down where it meets there, that's the answer there, where it meets, that's the answer there. You draw a line at 0 0.3 and the answers would be 18 and it would be 162. And then part B, write down the value of X such that sine X plus 20 is zero. So minus 20 plus 20 will give you zero. So that means sine of zero is zero. 160 plus 20 gives you 80, 180, one sine A 180 is zero. So your two answers are minus 20 and 180. You can chat with us on WhatsApp and to get complete solution and to good lessons on maths to get your top grades.